Soludo, Abga in tight corner as Labour Party inaugurates campaign council in Anambra reveals main target. Wow. So, um, Ab, uh, Labour Party has gone to Anambra now to possess Anambra state. And that was why the Labour Party said that about two, three days ago that Soludo will know who owns Anambra by the time they storm Anambra for campaign, by the time they storm Oka. Uh, and Newe and, uh, and the major cities of Anambra, they will know who owns Anambra. Now they have inaugurated their Labour Party presidential campaign council in Anambra state. And now Abga and uh, Soludo, the governor of the state, they are now in tight corner. Let's see what has to be uh, said further. The leadership, the leadership of the Labour Party and its members in Anambra State have maintained that the 2023 general election will not be game as usual. Labour Party made this declaration during the inauguration of its presidential campaign council in Anambra State, sending a strong message to residents in the state and other notable leaders. The leadership of the party in the state noted that a 95% victory in next year's election is their main target. Wow. Governor Charles Soludo and the leadership of the ruling party in Anambra State or Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA, have recently been greeted with a strong contender. Ahead of the February 25, 2023 presidential election in Nigeria, the Labour Party has inaugurated 800 members presidential campaign committee in Anambra State. 800. I hope they're able to manage them. Now, um, Mokugwo Solomon reports that the committee is chaired by an astute politician, Chief Barrister Joe Martins Uzodike, as state coordinator, while former commissioner for lands in the state, Barrister Okolo Akrika, serves as secretary of the state campaign committee. Wow. Labour Party targets 95% victory in the state. Chief Chike Nguiwu um, serves as zonal coordinator in the north, while uh, Honorable Barrister Chuka Ezengune and Chief Ema Ebene serve as zonal coordinators for Anambra Central and Anambra South, respectively. Speaking at the inauguration, the Anambra State Chairman of Labour Party, Honorable Ema Ugochuku Eme, congratulated members for being found worthy to work in the state's presidential campaign committee, while warning that the forthcoming presidential election will not be business as usual. He observed that since Peter B. hails from the state, all hands must be on deck to give him resounding victory, not just victory at the repose, but at least 95% victory in the state. That is great. He urged members of the committee to also reach out to the members of other political parties in the state to woo them and make sure that Obi is given his due honor by giving him as much as 95% of the total votes cast in the presidential election in Anambra. Wow, that is a very good one. And Labour Party is actually seeking grassroots support in Anambra state. And that is one of the targets, apart from having uh, or one of the strategies to achieve the 95% uh, uh, votes for the state. Also speaking, the state coordinator of the presidential campaign committee, Chief Joe Martins Uzodike, begged all campaign committee members and by extension all members of the party to work together to ensure that the party gets resounding victory. He assured that he would work hard with his committee members to ensure overwhelming victory for Peter B and Labour Party. He further warned that the campaign committee would not hesitate to remove any campaign committee member who is found wanting in his assigned duty or office. Former Commissioner for Economic Plan Planning in Anambra, Professor Stella Okuna, all right, who also graced the occasion, noted that Peter Obi remains the only presidential candidate who has what it takes to deliver Nigeria from its presence to sorry state. He enc she encouraged the campaign committee and Nigerians by extension to turn out en masse to support Obi and Labour Party for the overall good of the country. 
Wow. And it's also recorded here that NLC backs Labour Party. And Abra State Chairman of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Comrade Chingwe Orizu, said that NLC is solidly behind the can candidature of Peter Obi. She said the NLC has confidence in the ability of Obi's government to bring glory and prosperity to Nigeria and Nigerians. Earlier, while inaugurating the campaign committee, the Southeast Zonal Coordinator of the Obi Dati Presidential Campaign Committee, Ichi Demi Anukeke Ogene, urged the committee to deliver results that would convince Nigerians that Peter Obi is truly from Anambra State. And again, Ohaneze Ndibo backs Labour Party sends message to Nigerians as well in this process. Ogene, who is the National Vice President of Ohane Zendigbo also called on Nigerians to support Peter Obi's presidential aspiration, contending that since Igbo people all over Nigeria have been supporting other ethnic groups to emerge president over the years, they are now um, duty bound to support Nigerian president of Igbo extraction, as according to him, this is the payback time for Igbo people. He commended Afenifere, Middle Bed Forum, Ariwa, Niger Delta, and others for endorsing Peter Obi and urged them to walk their talk. And that is very, very fantastic. All right. And then um, in the process of this, we've seen that uh, um, Soludo is also adding that he has resolved rift with Peter Obi. So this is what it is. And uh, so they have inaugurated the campaign council in Oka Anambra State and um and eight hundred committee members have been put together just for the purpose of this uh, campaign council and they are saying that their target is ninety five percent victory of all the votes in Anambra State and that the target to achieve that is uh, to get access to the grassroots and that is why they inaugurated such number of persons in the committee so that they can have access to the grassroots they are also supposed to meet the members of other political parties and try to woo them to labor party and to ensure that uh, they get at least 25 percent vote uh, victory for peter obi in anambra state they say they're not going for peter obi hand they go do their best and they are and now they are saying because the question here is 800 is not too much but they have also come to say that they are going to monitor everybody closely and anybody that is found wanting will be removed from the committee without delay because it's going to be a party of integrity and so the committee must also uh, uphold that level of integrity at all levels and that will be a very great one if they can sustain it all right this is a very huge one and uh, kudos to anambra people and uh, congratulations to peter b for securing this kind of support in his own state, all right? So uh, the committee don't need to trouble themselves in Anambra state. They should channel their strength towards other states. Yeah, so this is a, this is Anambra state chapter of Labour Party. That eight percent of Anambra vote is for B. Somebody has said that already, okay? So the question is that this, this committee is for Anambra state. Every state has its own committee. So they don't have to move uh, the, the main leadership of Labour Party is working across the country and that is the, the, the main presidential campaign council for Peter Obi, which is led by the party leadership at national level. They are supervising all of that and that is why they are putting structures across all the states for Peter Obi. And that was why when there was issue at Ogun State, where the Ogun State chapter chairman of Labour Party tried to suspend or remove uh doing okupe all right for some reasons the national body weighed waited in immediately and resolved that matter and now it's been put to rest so Igbo alone cannot make labor party win election and become president this one is an umbrella state chapter this is not the whole of nigeria so people should understand every state has its own chapter and the each state chapter is doing their best supervised by the national leadership of labor party so it is not uh, all right somebody say what is your problem <laughs> very free to vote for your candidate i am your wise all right many northerners have shown interest in obi that's a very great one all right so uh somebody say you are out of date the north central north east north west south east south west it is a uh, all supporting obi he will win and that's a very good one so everybody supporting peter will be everywhere 
All right, I applaud the zeal of Labour Party and Anambra people to get 95% of total vote cast Anambra, which will be possible if good work is done. Of course, good work will be done. All right, Soludo is Tunubu's boy. That is what he's saying. Soludo is working for Atiku. <laughs> All right. So the thing here is that uh, I know Soludo is saying that he has resolved the rift with Peter Obi. I know the day they met in the Catholic Church and uh, they embraced each other, they exchanged pleasantries and they said they are brothers. So I just hope the issue, their, their, their case has been resolved and uh, let them move on as, uh, as, as one. All right. I've got to get presidential candidates. So let their presidential candidate work now. That's not a problem. And Ambra is 100% for Peter Obi, and that is great. So that is how it is supposed to be. All right? So somebody is saying 95% is partry percentage. All right? We should be talking about 99.9%, or don't you think he deserves it? Or shall we be found wanting? Or the quiet go? So it means that somebody is saying 95% is too small. Uh, yeah, you have to, the Labour Party is not the only party in the state now, so you don't have to say 100%. It means that you are violating other parties, so it's okay. Now, the 95% is conservative enough, and that is fair enough, all right? So, thank God, uh, this is happening in Anambra State, and uh, uh, it's putting Labour Party, I mean, uh, Abga in a tight corner a bit if they get the whole of 95%. Because it means that both the uh, governorship and the presidential candidate of Abga from that state is obviously not going to get anything, and that puts Soludo, Charles Soludo, and uh, and uh, his uh, uh, presidential candidate and the party at large in Anambra State in a tight corner. All right, so that is a very good one for them and for Labour Party. Once again, congratulations to Labour Party. This is a very welcome development. Thank you for listening and let's have your comment below.